we've just built um, some big packages or should have lots of space now to build these smaller packages and what I thought I'd do things I've just um, built Firefox in the previous video is to build the other two browsers that are in the BLFS book which is which are Epiphany and Seamonkey so I don't think I've ever installed Epiphany before but I think I've done Seamonkey once so I can't comment on what they're like um, but this is what it's all about it's about trying new things building new things new experiences so let's see what it's about so it looks like it's maybe quite a basic one it does say it's simple yet powerful gnome web browser it's quite small and it takes 0.2 SBUs so it looks like it's going to be a fairly simple browser so let's download it and we've got one recommended dependency um, Seahorse, I don't recognize that one let's just take a look at that one Looks like we haven't got that one. Oh, slash star. No. No, okay, so we need to install this one. PW quality. We haven't got that one. Libsip, you want kit, have search. Yeah, I think we've got the rest of them, so let's install this one first. Uh, let's check we've got the gnome key ring. No, it doesn't look like we've got that one either. Right, so let's start with this one. Um, actually, no. oh, I know, it's because it's in the GNOME directory, right, so, that's GNOME, so GNOME keyring is there, and Seahorse is there, right, okay, that's good, I did wonder why the links have been changed, so we can install Epiphany straight away then, oh, uh, just got Libdazzle, sorry, we need to install and looks like we've got lib handy already. Okay. So this looks like it's simple enough. It's finished let's run some tests that's okay it says two tests may fail so we're lucky we haven't had those failures so let's do ninja install and that's finished so uh, let's find out what section that's in cross it off 25 And now we can install Epiphany. Uh, let's clean up. So 
looks like it's uh, usual commands for a GNOME application. So it's built successfully. Now it says down there one test will fail if this package is not installed, so it's better to run the test after insta installation. Well, why not run it now just to make sure that the package isn't terminally broken? Um, so there's our one failure, but the rest have, have passed, so that that gives confidence that it is a you know half decent package. So Let's now install it. And in theory, from what it says there, if we rerun the test, it should be a complete pass, which it is. So that's good. Now it looks like from what has been said before, we're not going to find it in, oh, it has it, oh, right, okay, so some of these scripts, these programs may obviously be able to insert the appropriate menu um, commands to work in KDE, so this one has done that, um, okay, yeah, this does look quite basic, and it does look like a GNOME application as well, judging by the title bar. So let's go to looks from scratch again. Yep, that seems to look fine. Yep. And can we open a new tab? So bookmark, yep. So it doesn't look like it's a tabbed browser. Oh hang on, what's this here? Oh, yes, it is. There you go. Most visited. Let's try an HTTPS website. Yep, that looks fine. Let's look at the news. And it's crashed. So that's not a good start. Um, what might be an idea is running it from a command line because then if it does crash you'll probably get to see the error where well, it's remembered the tabs that's quite handy let's type in news again it's crashed so it's something to do with Cairo surface has failed so that might indicate that um, Cairo may need to be rebuilt let's see what dependencies has it got it looks okay. Or um, there's something in that web page that's causing it to crash. Um, so let's load it again. What I do, I'm going to click on the news link here. Yeah, so it could be there's something on that web page that's causing it to crash. And it's not actually, it may be a, a bug, you know, a proper bug in the package that needs to be reported and fixed. Let's try the sport one. No, there's obviously something on these web pages or on this particular web page that's causing it to crash. Um, let's see if we can try another one. Let's try going to BBC News. Uh, so got co.uk forward slash news directly. Yeah, so it's something on that home page that's causing a crash. But apart from that, the HTTPS seems to be working fine. So yeah, it looks like a quite a good little basic browser actually. Okay. So that's Epiphany. Let's close that down. 